spacecraft test conductor for the lunar module reported that Eagle was go. The swing arm now coming back to its fully retracted position as our countdown continues. T minus four minutes, 50 seconds and counting. Skip Sheldon informing the astronauts that the swing arm are now coming back. The astronauts will have a few more reports coming up in the countdown. The last business report will be from Neil Armstrong at the 45 second mark in the count when he gives a status on the final alignment of the stabilization and control system. We're now passing the 4 minute 30 second mark in the countdown, still go at this time. Four minutes, 15 seconds, the test supervisor now is informed one stable test conductor and one Carlson, you are barred both for launch. From this time down, uh, Carlson uh, handles the countdown as the launch vehicle uh, begins to build up. We're now hitting the four minute mark. Four minute mark, four minutes and coming. We are going for the follow 11. We'll go on an automatic sequence uh, starting at three minutes and seven seconds. Three minutes, 45 seconds and coming. And the final uh, abort checks between uh, several key moments of the tour here. And the tremendous amount of excitement rises up all night with hell to gain the confidence metal from the dining room. Shown as one of the people at the last Earth-bound minutes to man. July the 16th, 1969. Two minutes to go at this time. Two minutes to go at this time. Two minutes to go at this time. All still go at this time. Neil Armstrong reported back when he received the good wishes. Thank you very much. We know it will be a good flight. Firing command coming in now. We are on the automatic sequence. We're approaching the three minute mark in the count. T minus three minutes in counting. T minus three, we are go with all elements of the mission at this time. We're on an automatic sequence as the master computer supervises hundreds of events occurring over these last few minutes. T minus two minutes, 45 seconds and counting. The members of the launch team here in the control center monitoring a number of what we call red line values. These are tolerances we don't want to go above and below in temperatures and pressures. They're standing by to call out any deviations from our plans. Two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. We're still ball on Apollo 11 at this time. The vehicle starting to pressurize as far as the propellant tanks are concerned and all is still go as we monitor our status for it. Two minutes, 10 seconds and coming. <laughs> the target for the Apollo 11 astronauts, the moon at liftoff will be at a distance of 218,096 miles away. We just passed the two minute mark in the countdown, T minus one minute, 54 seconds and coming. Our status board indicates that the Oxidizing tanks in the second and third stages now have pressurized. We continue to build up pressure in all three stages uh, here at the last minute uh, to prepare it for a liftoff. T minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications uh, coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are at goal. One minute, 25 seconds in coming. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown. Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60 second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil yeah, Armstrong just reported back, it's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50 second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6, 
Apollo now is going along from the second stage, which will take it along for another 600 seconds of powered flight into a height of 101 miles, by which time it will be 880 miles away from us. And during these next few minutes now, the speed is building up to 15,000 miles an hour. But that's Cape Kennedy, all of that with is a smoking pad and another successful launch. And I thought this one this morning, did show a, a, a moment of hesitancy there. I, I don't believe myself and we will have to wait a little longer to find out that that was as good a launch as Apollo uh, 8 and, uh, and 9. It did a little uh, sidestep left and right there this morning before it cleared the car. And uh, anyway, he's run away and uh, as we keep hearing from Mission Control, they're looking good. Final firing that takes them into orbit. Velocity 
123,128 feet per second. Downrange 1,000 miles, altitude 101 miles. D1 is on, no, on number 5, if you know. Any second now they get the gun, they're going for all this. Oh, well, this is Houston at 10 minutes, you want to go. Air Roger, well, let's go. Thank you. 